do you know what types of software bugs to expect? If you're a programmer, knowing what types of bugs to expect and how to fix them can make your job a lot easier. In today's video, we're looking at seven types of software bugs and errors, as well as where to find them and how to fix them. I'm Raid from Jotform. Let's get to it. During software testing, you'll likely encounter error messages and other obstacles. With a better understanding of the issues you'll be facing, you'll have a better idea of how to best fix them. So let's talk about the common bugs and errors that you might encounter during the software development process. First, there's functional errors. This is a broad type of error referring to any instance where software does not behave as intended. For instance, if a user clicks the save button and their data isn't saved, this is a functional error. Once investigated, a software tester might be able to identify a more specific reason for the error and reclassify it as another type of bug. The second type is a syntax error, which occurs in the source code of a program, preventing the program from being properly compiled. This error is common and takes place when there are one or more missing or incorrect characters in the code. Just one missing bracket could lead to a syntax error. Compiling programs often show where this error has occurred, allowing the programmer to easily find and fix it. The third type of error is a logic error which occurs when there is a mistake in the software flow and causes it to act incorrectly. A logic error can cause the program to produce an incorrect output or even crash. Unlike syntax errors, logic errors do not prevent a program from compiling. One common logic error is the infinite loop. When the code is poorly written, the program will repeat a sequence endlessly until crashing or halting as a result of an external intervention. Next up, fourth, is the calculation error. Whenever software returns with an incorrect value, that's a calculation error. A calculation error could occur because the software is using the wrong algorithm to calculate the value, the calculation has a data type mismatch, or the developers coded the calculation or value handoff to another program incorrectly. An error like this can be costly in some instances, but finding the error is often a simple matter of math. The fifth type, the unit level software bug, is the most common and thankfully is usually the easiest to fix. Once your software is coded, you will need to see it work through unit testing. Unit testing is when you take a small logical section of code and verify that it performs as intended. This is when you're mostly likely to come across various forms of state machine bugs, calculation errors, and basic logic bugs. Bugs like these are generally easy to isolate as you're working with a small amount of code. They're relatively easy to replicate as there aren't many complex interactions happening yet. Then sixth, there's system level integration bugs, which occur when two or more pieces of software from separate subsystems interact incorrectly. Generally, each set of code is written by a different developer. Even if there are solid requirements to follow, there's still some room left for interpretation or details that can be overlooked. This is what causes the interaction between the two pieces of software to fail. System level integration bugs are more difficult to fix because you're working with more than one piece of software, meaning that the complexity increases and the visibility decreases. This type of bug is typically the result of things like byte swapping, message parsing, and memory overflow issues. Lastly, seventh, there are out of bounds bugs, which appear when an end user interacts with the software in a way that was not expected. This can happen because the user sets a parameter beyond the limits of the software's intended use, like entering a larger or smaller number than coded for, or inputting an unexpected data type such as text instead of a number. Let's go ahead and recap today's video. The common bugs and errors that you should expect to encounter during the software development process are functional errors, syntax errors, logic errors, calculation errors, unit level bugs, system level integration bugs, and out of bounds bugs. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Raid from Jotform. I'll see you next time.